today we will be discussing matrix of a relation. What we will see that given a relation from a set A to B or a relation on a set A, we can define a binary matrix uh, corresponding to the relation and this matrix uh, plays a, an important role in uh, studying properties of relations and uh, operating one relation by, the, by another relation and so on. So, to begin with let us start with a set A given by A 1 up to A n and a set B given by B 1 up to B m. Now, suppose R is a relation from A to B and of course, n and m are finite positive integers. What we can do is uh, that we can label the rows and columns of a matrix by the elements of A and B respectively. For example, let us write A 1, A 2, A 3 one below another and B 1, B 2, B 3 and so on up to B m. And now, we have positions of matrices uh, indexed by A 1, B 1, A 2, B 2. Uh, a 1 B 2, A 1 B 3, A 1 B m and so on. We can fill, fill in these gaps by writing m 1 1, m 1 2, m 1 3 and m 1 m. In the next row we write m 2 1, m 2 2, m 2 3 and so on m 2 m. At this point let us just change the notation a little bit and uh, understand that this m and this m are not same. So, probably write this as m dash. So, we have got b 1 up to b m dash this is 1 m dash 2 m dash and so on. The next row we have m 3 1, m 3 2, m 3 3 so on up to m 3 m dash and then a uh, m n 1, m n 2, n n 3 so on up to m n m dash. Now, as we have already studied that a relation is nothing but a subset of the Cartesian product of A and B. Therefore, uh, what we will do is that if a pair A i B j belongs to the relation, we will put 1 in the corresponding m i j and if it does not belong to the relation then we will put 0. So, we will write m i j equal to 0 if a i b j is not in R and we will write m i j equal to 1 if a i b j belongs to 
r and if by using this rule we fill in the uh, uh, fill in the matrix that we have already uh, written down the m i j matrix then we will find that it becomes a binary matrix. So, what we will write is that uh, this matrix that we denote by m sub r is equal to m 1 1 up to m 1 m dash m 2 1 up to m 2 m dash and so on and at the in the last column it is m n 1 up to m n m dash. Now, of course, here we will assume that we will know we know the ordering the ordering is fixed the ordering of the set A in which we have uh, labeled the by using which we have labeled the rows of the matrices uh, rows of the matrix and the ordering of the uh, mm -hmm. set B by using which we have labeled the columns of the matrix M sub R. It is now clear that the matrix M sub R is a binary matrix. There is a special case of this which is used very often that is when A and B are same. So, in this case we have only one set A which is finite consisting of elements A 1 up to A n and we have a relation R well which is a subset of A cross A. So, this relation is a relation on A and then we write M sub R which is the matrix corresponding to the relation R which is given by M i j which is an n by n matrix defined by m i j is equal to 0 if a i a j is not in R and 1 if a i a j is in R. We will now look at some examples uh, related to this idea of uh, a matrix of a relation. So, first of all we check a well known example that is the relation less than or equal to on the set 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, in this case the set A is the set 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. We may even write that here. Now, we are we are to construct the matrix corresponding to the relation given by less than or equal to. Let us call that matrix M sub less than or equal to which is equal to now at this point we are we have to label the rows and columns let us do that we label the columns by 0 1 2 3 4 and label the rows by 0 1 2 3 and 4 of course we have a matrix over here and there are entries that we have to fill in. 
So, let us start constructing the matrix. We take 0 and 0 from here and here and we ask the question is 0 less than or equal to 0? The answer is yes, therefore, we write 1. After that, we ask the question is 0 less than or equal to 1? The answer is yes, therefore, we write 1. Then we ask the question is 0 less than or equal to 2? The answer is yes and therefore, we write 1 over here and like this we fill in once in all the entries of the first row because 0 is less than all the elements of the set 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we move to the second row and we start checking. We ask the question whether 0 is I am sorry whether 1 is less than or equal to 0 which is not true therefore, we write 0 over here and then we write whether when then we ask whether 1 is less than or equal to 1 and of course, we know that 1 is less than or equal to 1 therefore, we get 1 over here 1 is less than or equal to 2. So, we get 2 over here 1 over here and similarly this. In the third row the first column entry is 0 because 2 is not less than or equal to 0 2 is not less than or equal to 1. So, 0 over here and then again 1. In the similar way we can fill in all the entries of the matrix and we get a matrix as this one right. We will now look at another example where we are given a digraph and we are asked to find out uh, well the corresponding matrix. Well, that means that essentially a digraph is connected to a relation, a relation is connected to a binary matrix. Therefore, in effect any digraph is related to a binary matrix and if somebody looks at graph theory by not looking at relations then of course, there is a graph such related to binary matrix um, binary matrices and those matrices are called adjacency matrices. So, what we are looking at as matrices of uh, relations are in a sense equivalent to adjacency matrices of digraphs. But let us look at this example. Now, we have 5 vertices V 1, then V 2, then we have V 3 and then we have V 4 and we have V 5 and we have an A joining V 1 to V 2 and V 2 to V 3 and then we have an A joining V 3 to V 5 and an A joining V 4 to V 1 and V 4 to V 2 right and uh, this is A joining V 3 to V 4. So, we write we write a draw a line from V 3 to V 4 and uh, put an arrowhead uh, towards B V 4. So, this is the graph that we have got. So, the underlying set of vertices or the set on which the relation is defined is V 1, V 2, V 3, V 4 and V 5 and we would like to know uh, the relation let us suppose the, re the relation given by the di digraph be uh, denoted by R suppose R is the relation given by the above digraph all right 
and we would like to find out m r. For that we again label the rows and columns of a matrix by the elements of A according to the order uh, given, given here. We could have basically chosen any order, but we have to specify the order at some place possibly at the beginning. So, let us now write v 1 up to v 5 and v 1 up to v 5 as the labels of the rows and then let us start checking here. See v 1 is related to v 2 therefore, I put a 1 here and v 1 is not related to anything else therefore, I am free to put 0 in all the other places. Now, let us look at v 2, v 2 is related to v 3, well I put a 1 there and otherwise v 2 is not related to anything else. Therefore, I will put zeros as the other entries of the second row and then we come to v 3 that is a third row and in the third row v 3 is related to two elements v 4 and v 5. So, v 3 is not related to v 1, so I put a 0 over here, v 3 is not related to v 2, I put a 0 over here, v 3 v 3 is uh, well v 3 is not related to itself, so we, I put a 0 here, but v 3 is related to v 4. Therefore, I will put a 1 over here and uh, v 3 is related to v 5, so I put a 1 over here again and then we go to v 4 where we find that v 4 is related to v 1 therefore, I put a 1 over here and also it is related to v 2 I put a 1 over here and rest of the places I put zeros and v 5 is not related to any other element therefore, I put a all zeros in the fifth row. Thus, we have the basic matrix corresponding the relation R and we can write if we choose to forget the ordering that is to say suppose we fix the ordering once and we say that ok fine we do not we do not write the ordering uh, beside the uh, rows and columns of the matrix all the time. Therefore, we can write m r as 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 1 1 and 1 1 0 0 0 and at the end we have another row that is all 0 row that is corresponding to v 5. So, this is the matrix corresponding to R. Now, we move on to C what we can do with the, these matrices. Sometimes these matrices are useful in computing uh, the uh, results of operations on relations. For example, we have seen uh, uh, before that given several relation on a set, we can take union, intersection and composition of those relations and sometimes what happens is that uh, if we are able to construct the corresponding matrices, then we can uh, uh, determine the union, intersection, composition of uh, several relations very quickly and possibly by using a computer. Therefore, let us see how to deal with unions. For that we have to uh, just uh, see the uh, see some general definitions. So, suppose R and S are two relations on a set A. Suppose R 
and S are two relations on a set A of cardinality n n finite all right whose matrices are given by mr well which is I will write it as m i j this is so it is n this is n cross n and we have m s which we denote by let us say m dash i j n cross n. Then we know that all these m i j's and m dash i j's are elements of the set 0 1 and on the set 0 1 we have uh, the usual uh, operations or and and given by this. This operation is known as or and this operation is known as and we use this elementary operation to define operations on the matrices of relations. We will define M R or M S as M i j or M dash i j n cross n that is we take these two matrices and then we take element wise or to get another matrix which we call or of these two matrices. Similarly, we will take these two matrices m r and m s and take element wise and to determine another matrix which we will call the and of these two matrices. Now, the question is that what is the use of doing this? We will shortly see that and and or of these two uh, 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 the and and or of these two matrices correspond to union and intersection of the relations. Let us look, look at it by an example. So, we check one example we consider a set A which is 1, 2, 3 and 4 and then we will consider a relation 
on A given by 1 2 1 3 and 2 4 we consider another relation S on A given by 1 2 2 3 and 4 4 all right now let us look quickly at what is r union s r union s is given by 1 2 1 3 2 3 2 4 and 4 4 and r intersection s is the single turn given by one two. Now, let us see what happens if we consider the matrices instead of the sets m r is equal to now let us label the rows 1 2 3 and 4 1 2 3 and 4. So, 1 is related to 2 therefore, I put a 1 over here and 1 is related to 3. So, I put a 1 over here. So, it is 0 and this is 0 and 2 is related to 4 and uh, that is all and there is no pair inside R therefore, I complete the matrix in this way. All right, so, I write it again. So, the matrix corresponding to M R is 0 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 and 0 0 0 0. Now, let us find out the matrix corresponding to M S. Again, I have to label first 1 2 3 4 and 1 2 3 4 and if I write like this, then in M S 1 is related to 2. So, I will put a 1 over here and 2 is related to 3. So, I will put a 1 over here and then I have 4 is related to 4. So, I put a 1 over here rest of the entries are zeros. So, I will get something like this and 3 is not related to anything therefore, I will put all zeros over here. All right, so I have got this one. Now, I would like to take M R or M S. For that, I process these two matrices. Now I check the first entry in M R and M S both are zeros, so zero. Second entry both one, so one. Third entry one zero. 1 0 is 1 therefore, it is 1 and 0 0 is 0. So, therefore, it is 0. Then in the second row we have 0 0 0 0 0 1. So, therefore, we have got 1 over here and then 1 0. So, we have got 1 over here and Similarly, if we check the third row, we will find that this is all zeros and then at the end in the fourth row, please see that uh, if we compare the elements of M R and M S, then first three entries are zeros in both the matrices. Therefore, the result is 0 only in the last one in M S 
the 4 4 entry is 1. So, therefore, I will put a 1 over here and rest of the cases is 0. Now, let us try to construct the relation corresponding to this matrix. We see that in this relation we will have this is 1 is related to 2 and then the entry 1 3 is 1 therefore, 1 is related to 3 then in the second row 2 3 is related to 3 and in the again in the second row 2 4 is related to uh, 2 is related to 4 and then at the end 4 is related to 4. So, we see that the relation corresponding to the uh, matrix M R or M S is uh, 1 2 1 3 2 3 2 4 and 4 4 which is exactly same as the relation uh, the uh, relation R union S. So, the matrix that we have obtained is nothing but the matrix corresponding to R union S and this is in general true. Therefore, we have uh, one result which says that M R or M S gives me the matrix corresponding to M R union S. Now, what about the intersection? Uh, let us look at the same pair of matrices. So, uh, we have again M R which is equal to 0 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 then 0 0 0 0 and 0 0 0 0 and we write m s which is 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 and then the third row is totally 0 and the last row is all 0 except at the last entry where we have 1 and now we check and of these two relations m r and m s which gives me well I can compare in the same way I can see that the first entry of m r and first entry of m s is 0. So, I put a 0 over here first and uh, the first uh, row second column entry is 1 in both the matrices. So, I put 1 over here and the rest 2 are zeros. Please note here that the in the previous example we were using element wise or. So, we 0 or 0 is 0, 0 or 1 equal to 1 or 0 equal to 1 or 1 which is equal to 1. But in this case, the element wise operation is and, therefore, it is basically making most of the things 0. So, I have got 0, 0 is 0, 0, 1 is 0, 1, 0 is 0, and 1, 1 is 1, and that is the rule that I am using. So, we see that if we look at the second row. In element wise, I see that there is no uh, common one as entries. Therefore, all the entries will be zeros, and of course, the third row is zero in the first and also in the second matrix. Therefore, all zero, and the fourth row is zero in the first matrix. Therefore, it's zero. Therefore, we have a singleton, and that is this singleton is the entry first row second column. So, it is 1 2 therefore, the matrix uh, the relation corresponding to the matrix M R 
well here is a mistake this is and so let me write it down well here this is and so mr and ms is equal to 1 2 and which is r intersection s therefore we can write mr and ms is equal to m r intersection s Next, we will look at the scenario of what happens if we take a product of two uh, matrices corresponding to uh, two relations. The question is that whether it connects to some basic operations on relations. So, let us let us look uh, uh, let us look look at what happens if we just take matrix product. So, again we are considering a set A which consists of n elements and we have a matrix R uh, matrix of R defined as m r which is essentially m i j it is an n cross n matrix we have another matrix m s which is let us say is given by s i j which is n cross n and now if I just take a product of these two matrices usual matrix product then we will get m r m s which is equal to some t i j n cross n where t i j is equal to sigma k going from 1 to n m i k s k j. Of course, this is usual matrix multiplication and uh, well we have to remember that in this case the summation uh, uh, that we see in the right hand side of the equation containing T i j is, uh, is, a, is a summation over integers. Now, we ask a question that what happens if T i j is 0 for, for a pair i, I j. So, that means, if T i j equal to 0, then there exists no k belonging to 1, 2 up to n such that m i k s k j is not 0. So, that means that in other words, in other words, there exists no a k belonging to a right such that a i related to a k and a k related to a 
a k related by s well a k related to a j we have to remember here that this relation is s and this relation is r. So, there is no a k such that this holds, but that means that this implies that a i is not related by r composition s to a j or if we want to be a bit more specific uh, then we will write a j a, a, a i a j does not belong to r composition s. Now, suppose suppose uh, we have a situation where the sum t i j is not equal to 0. Suppose t i j is not equal to 0, then please note that this summation uh, is a sum of non negative integers because m i k and s k j are non negative integers. Therefore, uh, if t i j is not 0, there has to exist at least one k such that Uh, such that uh, well uh, m i k equal to s k j equal to 1. So, let me write that then there exists k belonging to 1 up to n such that m i k s k j both are 1s that means, that is a i related by the relation r to a k and a k is related by the relation s to a j, which implies a i r composition s a j or if we like to write a i comma a j the ordered pair a i a j belongs to r composition s. Thus, this proves that m r uh, uh, m r uh, product m s has something to do with the matrix corresponding to the composition of r and s. What we do is that we slightly modify the definition of product and we write m r then uh, a small dot and then m s we write this that this is equal to let us say t just put a small dash over it i j where t i j dash is 1 if t i j as we have defined above is not equal to 0, t i j dash is 0 if t i j equal to 0. So, we define a new uh, matrix m r composition m s in this way 
and it is clear from the discussion that we had that this is same as the matrix corresponding to M R composition S. Let us look at an example of this uh, uh, this composition rule. So, let us again go back to the matrices that we were talking about here as you can see that this M R is this and M S is this matrix, we will write afresh these matrices and take the product M R product M S which is equal to 0 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 then 0 0 0 0 then 0 0 0 0 and here we have this new operation on matrices and then 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1. Now, we start checking the elements if we see that the first row uh, first uh, first row first column is 0, second row first row second column also 0, but uh, then if we go to the first row third column then we get a 1 and then then 0 and then if we check the other entries we will see that they are 0 0 0 1 and rest are zeros so either one can compute this directly or one can take a product the usual product of these two binary matrices such that the elements are the uh, are, are calculated over the sum is calculated over integers and then the uh, then modify the product matrix by the rule that if the entry is 0 it is 0 that if, it, if the entry is non zero put 1 then you will get this matrix and this is the matrix corresponding to M R composition S that can be directly checked we have done this example in one of our previous lectures. So, therefore, we have R composition S is given by 1 3 and 2 4. In this lecture, we have uh, defined relation uh, the matrix corresponding to a relation and we have basically seen that this matrix is nothing but adjacency matrix of a digraph uh, that is the digraph corresponding to the relation. So, we have a situation like this we have digraphs, then we have matrices, let us say binary matrices and we have relations. And what we have done is that we have developed connections among all these different concepts we have seen that essentially they are same and then we have uh, seen that the basic operations and 
compositions of relations can be expressed very nicely as operations over binary matrices. This is uh, what we do in this lecture. So, thank you.